Hello everyone, so I'll be teaching how I made this particular piece, just a simple demo, as well as this one using a special brush, and it's called the Color Smudge um, brush, where you can move it in some interesting ways, just like this one. So you can get some really interesting shapes, but first you need to create the brush first. So let's get into that. You can choose a default brush over here. So you can just search Blender over here on the search bar and these will show up. Um, these blue ones are custom and as well as this one. So you're not going to see that. But uh, everybody has these like brushes that have that kind of teardrop um, over there. So um, you can just choose whichever. We're going to use this one, this, this rake one. Um, but I've already changed this one. So I'm going to reset it. Now you can just follow along on how this works. So when I change the brush size, you can see that um, it's smudging the colors together. So you open up the brush editor over here, then this will show up. I think it's F5. The shortcut for that is F5. First off, you need to turn off size and rotation just to make things simpler and you know less chaotic. You can turn those back on if like you want a particular effect, but for now we're gonna turn them off <clears throat> then turn the smudge radius to around 90 or 100 percent then turn off enable pen settings smudge length is already fine um up to 100 percent and have this like curve over here color rate this is fine doesn't really matter then the, for the rush tip um don't use this one let's go back to the auto and actually look for a square brush then let's make this a bit bigger then turn off the fade by making it one. Then in the spacing, um, you can turn this down and you can see over here, right? Um, it's getting much more, much more solid, right? I think that's about it. Let's use this one. You can see that this is the basic effect of the brush where you can just smudge everything indefinitely and it's never going to, um, go away. It's not going to get blurry or anything. So now that that's done, we can just um, go to the brush editor again, then select uh, save new brush preset. That way you don't have to make this all over again. Uh, but since I already have my own copy, um, I won't be saving this, but you should since, you know, um, you're creating this from scratch. Where this shines is where you want to create some interesting shapes really quickly and looking for some inspiration and letting the mind's eye like look for concepts and new ideas and whatnot so let me show you what i mean um for the first demo we're gonna be uh, mirroring one area so the right area to the left or vice versa so let me just make a shape over here then use the brush the special brush that we used and just create these interesting shapes kind of morph it into something completely different. Um, when it's going slow like this, where it's kind of has a delay, you can just go to the brush tip and turn this up just a bit. That way it's not as laggy. So when you make this 0.06, um, the lag is less noticeable. When you increase it more, um, it's going to be even faster. I like it. I like to keep it at a relatively low number because if you keep it at a high number, like above one, we're going to see those like jagged edges, which you don't really want. So we're just going to keep it around 0.5 or so, something like that. All right. So you can just keep on like distorting this into different shapes. And now you just got like a way more like interesting shape than what you previously had. So let's try that again with this type of brush. This is like a thick and thin brush, kind of like a chisel brush. Then we use the blend brush again. Then of course, um, we're just using a square brush for this one. But like the brush tip that you use is the main like shape component of this like smudger brush. So if you choose a more um, organic brush, something like this, then it's gonna smudge very differently. Let's use another one that's less um, drastic, maybe something like this one, you can see. Um, it's introducing like very different shapes compared to 
the square brush. Oh, also this is animated, which we don't necessarily want. Let's try a triangle one. Triangle is really, it's relatively simple. Now, um, when I use this brush, it's going to create more like sharp edges just because of like the nature of the brush tip that I use. Then, um, if you choose like an irregular um, looking shape, maybe something like this. Also gonna introduce those like really weird but interesting nonetheless um, shapes when you smudge it around. I particularly like um, this one. Where is that? I like this one. So this brush step I particularly like because it introduces some interesting textures because of the irregularities of the brush. Also, by the way, if you use the symmetry, it has a tendency to kind of get blurry. But if you turn this off, um, it's not as blurry and it's much smoother. So yeah, because like symmetry has a lot of processing power, so it's gonna lag pretty a bit. But anyway, so there's um, one use for this type of smudge brush. So for this scene, I actually used this one, this um, actual brush tip, but actually we can just create our own. So for now, let's try making our own uh, kind of city landscape. I'm just gonna fill this in, then select our smudge brush. Then let's go for something a bit more interesting. Uh, maybe this could work. Maybe this one, maybe one two. It's interesting. Try this one. So this one has like really sharp. Um, ha it has like really solid shapes, which I like. So um, another tip, I guess, since you're gonna be using this brush like all the time, right? Um, some of the shapes are going to be a bit too repetitive. So what I would do, or what I would suggest, is turning this rotation on and turn off drawing angle, but turn on fuzzy stroke. What that's going to do is kind of like for every stroke that you do, it's going to change the brush um, angle to a random value. Yeah, basically. So sometimes it's angled, sometimes it's not. So it's going to kind of break up those um, obvious same brush for everything. So anyway, uh, after that, we can just start like manipulating these shapes and create our own like sci-fi city or honestly whatever you want so this could be like a ship i'm just you know kind of subtracting and adding shapes as i go along and kind of letting the brush do its magic so this could be like an abandoned city or i don't know honestly you could do something like this then let's add uh, a slightly brighter value for here brighter value for here and go back to the smudge brush start creating these wonderful shapes this could be a city this could be like i don't know a village it could be like the f um another plane of like this gigantic building oh yeah that's about it um you can see like you can really um explore lots of different shapes and textures using this type of brush by just moving and pushing things around and now i kind of have this kind of um, weird city looking thing. Kind of like a post-apocalyptic city with a river or whatever this is. And yeah, I did that by just using this brush, which just moves things around. Let's add a character like this. And yeah, uh, that's about it. So hope you enjoy using this type of brush and creating some cool shapes with it. And thanks for watching.